I wanted to do this video because I feel like I owe it to you guys who have been subscribing to me and watching my channel to get to know the other person behind this camera. Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Jay Lee Vlogs. So today is going to be a little different in this video. We are going to do a Q&A for you to get to know me a little bit more. There are 20 questions that I receive often. And the first question is, what is my favorite color? My favorite color is pink. The second question asks, if you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? It's so obvious that if I could change one thing, I just want this pandemic to never happen. I mean, 2020, I thought it was my year and I thought that it would be everyone's year, but it's clearly not. The third question, if you could live anywhere, where would that be? I've always had in my head that I will live somewhere tropical. And I also envisioned that this place is outside the country, outside the United States. So I believe Bali would be a very beautiful place to live in. Um, I just haven't find that courage to leave everything behind and just move there but hopefully one day. And I'm inspired to just travel around the world. Um, I love visiting my homeland, my home country, Vietnam. I also heard Australia is beautiful. So I haven't traveled to so many places to know where I would want to be permanently in this world. But obviously somewhere tropical, somewhere warm, and if I can't leave the States, I can settle in Florida. Okay, the fourth question, what are my hobbies and interests? Okay, I started YouTube in January. So obviously YouTube is part of my hobby. It's also a great interest of mine to keep on building and building. Um, I also love to play tennis. I love to cook. I love to write and I love to read. My interest would be also traveling. I don't like to be cooped up in the house and stay in one place. So this pandemic has really been tough on me and I'm sure that is for everyone else who feel like they're stuck in the house. Number five, what are your future plans? Okay, before this pandemic, my future plans were all coming together. Okay, we got married and you know, we wanted to just buy a house. We saw a house that we like, but it didn't work out. But you know, we could have continued looking, um, just getting my master's degree in elementary education. I would love to be an ESL teacher. So, you know, just finishing school, getting my master's done and finished so that I, that way I can just um, determine where I want to live, uh, where I want to go and find that job and stay there permanently. I know permanently sounds so scary, but you know, just finding a job, a location that's good enough and just staying there and thrive there. So that's my future plans. Number six, how many pairs of shoes do you have? I believe if you are counting winter shoes, summer shoes, fall shoes, sneakers, I would have to say about 30 pairs of shoes. Okay, number seven, where have I traveled to? I believe that I traveled to a few states in the United States, but I haven't traveled much outside the country other than my homeland. That is why I want to just go and explore more of what the world has to offer than just my homeland because I wanted to visit Thailand. I want to visit China. I want to go to Bangkok to check out, you know, all the amazing food because I love Thai food. Number eight, favorite holiday. So if I could go, if I could travel to the beach, the mountains or the city, I'm already living in the city, so I would have to say that I want to uh, just go to the beach right now. Like, I miss the beach so much. Number nine, 
do you like roller coasters? There's a story behind why I would never go on a roller coaster again. When I was in fifth grade, I went on a roller coaster with my sister and that roller coaster called the Wildcat at Hershey Park. And oh my goodness, that roller coaster is a wooden roller coaster. When I got on that roller coaster, it starts wiggling and, you know, just like bumping everywhere. My sister, she was just like having the time of her life. Like, but me, I'm looking at her like, I don't want to die. This thing is too high. It's going up all the way up and then it's taking us all the way down. And then when it finally got down, I bumped my head. So I bumped my head so badly because I kept on putting my head down and I don't want to see. So when I bumped my head so badly on the um, roller coaster, that just ruined it for me. And you know, it's just a little trauma that I had and I feel bad that when I go to the amusement park with my husband or with my friends and they'll ask me to get on, I just can't explain this trauma to them because I'm traumatized from getting hurt on that on on the roller coaster. Number 10, have you ever cried at a film? Yes, I have. And I don't remember what the film was, but it had a lot to do with a family member or a friend passing away because I lost my sister in 2016 and it was around December. Um, of that year when I lost her uh, to a reason that's very personal and I can't say but um, just losing someone you love and when you watch a movie that displays all the emotion it just br hits home and it brings back a lot of pain and sadness. I'm not saying that these movies are not good to watch. They're actually good at letting you express your sadness and just bring all those emotions out if you kept it in for so long. It's actually healthy to get emotions out and you know, just express your feelings. Number 11, what pisses you off? When I see someone who doesn't consider other people's feelings and when they're saying things to hurt other people, that is what pisses me off. When someone start pissing me off or doing something to piss me off, I want to make it clear by communicating and telling them how I feel about the situation so that could end and stop. Number 12, if you're going to Starbucks, what will you order? I love the green tea frap. I love the green tea lattes and I love the ice caramel latte. Those are the three drinks that I drink most often when I go to Starbucks. That's a good question. Number 13, no friends or toxic friends. I would have to say that I would want to just be alone. If I'm around negativity and I feel like they're dragging my energy down, I would just close, close them and just take the trash out because I do not need any toxic people in my life. I don't need any toxic friends. So I think that by now I have learned that I can also be my own friend because I know what I want, I know what I like, and I always put my own interests first. Number 14, who has left the most impact on your life? I would have to say my fifth grade teacher. Uh, she was a very great teacher and I loved her because she showed a lot of compassion and kindness towards me. I remember one time I didn't make it to school. She wanted to know why she was worried and she actually called to check up on me. And there are days when I have to stay behind and finish up my work. She'll give me a ride home. And I just feel like she has stepped outside of her job to show so much love towards me. So I am forever grateful and thankful to know someone like her someone who is so loving and would sacrifice anything for someone that's not even their child. She just inspired me to be the best teacher that I can be uh, now that I am a teacher. Number 15, do you believe in love at first sight? 
my look in love is a little different, but I would have to say that I, co I don't completely believe in love at first sight because just looking at someone in the eyes and just because the attraction is there does not mean that you both are compatible with each other. Make sure you spend a lot of time getting to know each other. That's why going on dates are so important. You can't look at someone and say, I love that person and I don't even know who they are. So that's where it's conflicting. Number 16, it's probably getting a little juicier here. Would you ever consider living abroad? I have considered living abroad before, um, even going back to my country, back to my homeland to teach because I love Vietnamese food. I love the lifestyle over there. I love the weather. And I have gone back many times to visit, but I feel like I need structure. The lifestyle is not as structured as American lifestyle. Um, people have jobs, they work, but they tend to just party every single day, drink every single day. I mean, it's great to live life to the fullest, but um, having responsibilities, having structure is so important to me. So I feel like the United States off that, uh, offered that. Number 17, pick one. Oh, here we go again. It's getting juicy. Cheat or be cheated on. Okay, guys, I don't even know why this is even the question. It's not okay to cheat on someone. It's not okay to feel cheated on either. So if I have to pick one, I would have to say that, yes, I'm the vulnerable one. I would be the one getting cheated on because I feel like if no one is doing me wrong, I wouldn't do them any harm. Like if someone's given me their heart and they love me just like my husband, I would not go and cheat on him. You know, I, I love honesty and if someone, if I find out that someone's not honest to me, then, you know, it's done and over. Uh, I just hope it never happens, but this is me having to pick. Definitely, I will be the one getting cheated on for one reason is that I'm way too honest and too vulnerable. So we have two more questions to go. Number 18, do you believe in karma? Yes, I do. I do believe in karma. You know, what you put out into the world is what you get back in return. So you can't live a good life if you're going to go and do someone dirty. It's going to come back to you one day. And you know, and if you're just want, you're just the type of person that, oh, that's not going to happen to me. I can just go and do this to him, to her, to him, to her. Nothing's going to come back at me. But you know, karma comes knocking at everyone's door. If you do good, good things will come to you. If you do bad or you intentionally hurt other people or want bad things to happen to them, there's no way on earth that you will have a good life. And I am a strong believer that God sees everything. By the end of the day, he knows and you know what you did. Number 19, do you wear makeup every day? No, I do not wear makeup every day. I have makeup on, especially for this film, but I don't put makeup on every day. If you know me, it's rare that I have a full face of makeup on. So normally I would just go out with a little bit of blush, a little bit of concealer, touch up my brows if I have to, and wear some lip gloss that's it so we got to number 20 what is your ultimate goal in life my ultimate goal in life is just to be happy and to not give up on the things that i am most passionate about it's very hard to just have that mindset because you have so many things to worry about but always have a goal in mind is to stay happy stay positive, everything will be okay. So I hope that you got something positive out of this video and that 
you know, we can continue to be friends on YouTube and create a stronger connection as I create more content for you guys. As you explore the channel together, uh, just make sure that if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, please link it into the comment below. I am, I'll be sure to check out everyone's comments and love. I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys will stay safe and stay well. And I'll be praying every day for things to get back to the way that it used to be so we can actually be outside traveling, going where we want to go, and just enjoy the world together again. Mwah.